Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm so glad to show you a new beautiful product I received from Lisa Eldred, a box with her new velveteen creations. So she sent me literally all her shades she created for a velveteen liquid lipstick and I'm over the moon, literally over the moon. So I really wanted to try this creation once she launched but she asked me which shade I would choose so I went for um, two free shades and I received them all. So all the eight new shades. Thank you so much Lisa, this is a very extraordinary gift for me and I'm so grateful and if you're new to my channel please take a moment to subscribe and follow me also on Instagram where I upload quite daily makeup news. You can see the shades, there are eight shades they remind obviously of the velvet shades, so we have a ribbon, muse, fawn, dragon, rain, blush, affair and gel. Velveteen are the new liquid lipstick by Liz Aldridge and you can find here what she uh, wrote about uh, this kind of product, she said, I think of Velveteen as the playful younger sister of my true velvet lip color. You can really have fun with this indelible, versatile and effortless formula. So, they are supposed to be very long lasting but also very comfortable on the lips, so very lightweight. They shouldn't dry your lips so I think she achieved another goal with this kind of formula because I love liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick but usually they dry my lips so I'm always quite worried about the liquid lipstick because I prefer a lipstick to retouch instead so uh, I can't wait to try this one. So since I own also many Lisa Eldridge velvet lipsticks, I decided to take the shades you can find in velveteens and to show you also the swatches beside the, the velvet so you can really catch the shades, the difference between the liquid formula and the velvet formula. Here are all the shades of the velveteens and I will swatch them on the back of my hand and also on the lips so you can really see how they look like. But just before let me say that um, velveteens can be applied in two different ways so you can use them as a classic liquid lipstick so, so you can apply them with their applicator or instead you can put a um, little amount in the center of your lips and create an ombre look, sort of ombre look, so a blurred effect and I really love it, it's quite uh, Korean, I loved uh, this kind of uh, application, especially for um, some shades. The, the lipsticks has also ingredients and uh, some benefits, so always Lisa puts some treatment in their uh, makeup products. So let's start uh, from the lightest shade, that is uh, Velveteen Fawn. So you can see also the packaging, very classy. So Velveteen Fawn is supposed to be a very light beige, soft beige with cool and warm undertones. Let's have a look to the applicator also. It seems very small and precise, so a very good applicator at first look. 
let's start swatching the shade and this is velvet fun in the velvet formula you see this is the color nearby here you have to wait uh, the velvet tea into to dry to set but obviously they won't look the same because texture is, is different so they could look similar but not exactly exactly the same in my opinion and uh, this is due to the texture and this is for every kind of product in my opinion let's see oh it's very soft i love this color you see the applicator is very very precise So you see it's small and it's pointed. I have to say that you feel the, the product that is setting onto your lips, but yeah, you, you don't feel your lips dry or something like this. You have to wait the product to set a bit. I really love it and let me see you see no transfer I love it for summer or this or an occasion that you are out you drink <laughs> you eat this is a very good choice you can line it also a bit with a um, pencil another layer and once it's set it's completely matte so this is velvetin foam and this is velvet foam and this is very very comfortable i have to say no stitchy no dry very lightweight okay to remove the lipstick i use a lisa aldridge uh, cleanser and um, this wet uh, cloth also by lisa aldridge i put a small amount of the cleanser on my finger Just remove everything, very easy, very <clears throat> quick and easy, and my lips are soft. Go on with the Muse, it's a smoky rosewood with pink and brown and dirty rose undertones. So this is Muse. In the velvet formula of fun and muse oh beautiful And once it's set a bit, uh, you could uh, retouch. You can see once the product is set, um, the color really 
it's more muted so more close to the muse original shade in velvet and it's so pretty this is such a beautiful color and i'm so grateful to have received all the shades because choosing the shades was the hardest part for me because they were all so beautiful because they are also beautiful this is very pretty so this is Musa Fawn is more close to a nude shade for me probably with a smoky or something like this instead Musa just my lips but better version <laughs> just for me because I'm so pale and I love it now it's time for rain and I really love rain in the velvet formula so I think I would love it also in the velveteen formula I love it because it's a, a very um, very beautiful uh, color quite natural but in the meantime it lifts you so it's very very a beautiful kind of pink in my opinion so um, I want to show you the velvet and the velveteen together so this is the rain in the velveteen formula Let's see on the lips. So my suggestion is when you start to use a more colorful liquid lipstick, go slowly with the application. So take a little amount, not a huge amount, and wait until it sets a bit and then continue the application Now it's time for a fair. A fair is a healthy and soft caramel brown. It's a very nice color and I like to see the swatch here. This is the velvet version. beautiful color once it sets it's a little bit more muted and obviously love it I love this kind of tone because I don't wear brown lipstick so much but this shade is amazing I really love it it doesn't wash me out I'm so beautiful very classic this is a fair and now blush blush is a deep pink berry with a muted cool undertone I have to change the arm and this is the blush in velvet and 
beautiful turn. Also, smudge it like this. You have this beautiful stain, very natural. You see. Now we build it up. So beautiful. It's very, very cool lipstick. I love this very shade. Super pretty. This is Velveteen Blush. Now it's time for Dragon. Dragon is a burnt, soft, rusty red with a warm yellow undertone. So, what mm, you can find in, immediately in this shade is this yellow component that it's really impressive, in my opinion. So let's see the Velveteen Dragon. Very particular, this kind of shade. They really look similar. It's a red, so you have to be more precise when you apply this color. Once again, I suggest you to do a very first layer. And once it's set a bit, you go over. Okay, this is powerful. I think it's a beautiful shade. We moved from the pink, the berry, the soft tone and we have arrived to this beautiful red tone. You see, when I smile, no crack, crack, I don't know if it's the right words, but you see it's a full effect. very comfortable on the lips so you feel the product that is satin but once it's set it's completely lightweight ribbon ribbon is the classic red with uh, a little touch of blue undertone beautiful red Okay, this is a red, absolutely. And it's a beautiful kind of red. I really love ribbon shade because this red has this high chroma inside. It really brightens everything. So, you see, absolutely absolutely amazing and now we finish with the velveteen jets it's a um, brick red shade muted red very very beautiful this is supposed to be the darkest one of the velveteen velvet jets in Velvet edition.
Let it set a bit. Darker color. Don't make my mistake to press the lips, but wait a minute to let it dry. Even if it's a very important color to wear, it's quite easy to apply, so you can adjust uh, if you make some mistakes, like me, during the application. So the darker, the darker color are not so easy to apply usually, so you have to be a bit more precise in the application. So it's very easy to, to correct, uh, that's what I mean. And uh, yeah, it's stained perfectly. So now please uh, write me which shade do you prefer and let me know your impression about this new product by Lisa Aldridge. See this nail polish by Chanel matches this bumpy look, <laughs> even if it's summer. I am just feel enough to wear this color. Let me know your impressions. Let me know if you have uh, some um, further questions. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Bye.